what's going on everybody it's dj mods are out and we've got 13 new and updated mods to take a look at today for all platforms we have six new and one update and for pc and mac we've got six new as well i make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub so get subscribed if you're new that way you never miss any starting off today with new mods for all platforms we have the lizard 845 ag hall all series this is the landall from custom modding however because landall is not a licensed brand it is lizard on consoles and if you guys are on pc you can also download the lizard version it's actually two of the 13 mods that we're going to talk about today so we'll show off the landall later Later on but if you guys are wanting to do crossplay or anything like that it is totally doable and that's awesome on here customization we've got wheel covers yes or no we could do those flip gooseneck absolutely coupling of the three axle system you betcha and we've got that three axle system as well whoop, whoop. we also have a covering of wood or you could do basically yes or no through there oversized signs you got flags you got aluminum signs and back and forth between all that so choose whatever you like through there Frame cover, yes or no. I love the frame cover on here. You could choose if you want to. We'll set up, we do have the RT500s, or you could throw on the air system with those. Even we have Continentals, the HD3s, and an air system with those, and the HA3s, yeah. So six different wheel options to choose from there. Main color, you could do a galvanized, or you can do a black. Uh, the galvanized looks really, really good if you're using that uh, covering system. And the rims, we have chrome, stainless steel, white and black man does that black color look awesome we even have a license plate on here as well we'll just kind of choose back only take a look and it's going to be dead center in the bottom this is only going to be two slots for you guys on consoles now interestingly for six slots oh, there we go we got our configurations can't wait for that to be fixed in the next update for six slots we have the third axle so smaller bit in the back but it's three times heavier in slots I can't explain it. What I can't explain is the wheel covers. We do have some, yes or no. <laughs> We've also got a frame cover to match oversized signs, yes or no. You can even do an oversized sign like that. So when it flips, boom, pops out. It's really cool. And we have all of the same wheel setups as well. So you can choose exactly what you want to and you're good to go. Those Continental HD3s are definitely my favorite. Main color, same thing to match trailer. And rim color, same things to match here as well. We've even got the license plate option here. If we go with the back only, you can put it on there. But again, remember, these are two slots and six slots, respectively. It's a really cool trailer, absolutely beautiful. You can see right here, we've got the full animations. One thing, whenever I turned on the beacons, they permanently had my beacons that I used from my uh, collector's edition to permanently stay on. So I had to unplug them for this video because they were right in my face. There you go. There's the Lizard 845 AG Hall All Series for all platforms. From Whiskey Sierra Modding, we get to see his new Holland Forge Cruiser Series finally available for all platforms. This is going to be something, I think he made this in Forms M19. I can't remember exactly, but it's really cool to see this. Pretty much, you're not gonna be using the base game version anymore because it's got tracks. Ah, and you can even throw some duels on there if you want to. Wides, he's got every customization you could possibly want. It's not very slot heavy either. It's only about 12 slots, but for a vehicle, especially a detailed vehicle that has all of this, that ain't bad at all. Starting at 476 horsepower, 1200 liters fuel, 24 miles per hour max speed at 13 tons. Will Brands, we have Trailborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, and back to it. And you can see we've got multiple different versions of tires. Basically, uh, you've got a wide or standard wide dual, and you've got tracks on everything. Yeah, that's a continental track. Get it while it's hot. Warning signs. We've got Euro signs, at least to start with. We've got North American, and then you could do a combination of the two. So if you're like me and you want to warn people you're coming down the road, uh, you could add that if you want to. I love that option, Get a, a, giving everybody the ability to do whatever they want. Light bar? Well, I mean, of course we want light bars, right? Let's take a look. So you've got one smack dab right in the center on the rear. You've also got one on the very front at the top, or you can do both, yeah. One other thing you probably saw while you're back here is the trailer hitch. We've also got a trailer hitch on here as well. So that is very, very nice to have. Now, preser er, preserva pre preservative? And we, we throw an extra tank on there if you want to. That's going to be for your, uh, for, yeah, you guys know the, the additive stuff. Engines, we've got a 480, we've got the 550, 650, 780, and the 850, even the 920. Yes, 
911 horsepower on here. And by the way, uh, those engine options are free. So you should definitely get one right now for it has to be updated because uh, that would probably double the price of this thing. Main color, this is where it gets cool as if it wasn't good enough already. You got New Holland yellow or you got New Holland blue or you've got that Fiat Agri New Holland red kind of color or we could do a blue power. Yeah, red candy <whistles> or a blackout version. New Holland Blue is definitely my favorite, so that's what we're going with there. You've even got rim color. Now, I am going to swap out the uh, crawler tracks for some twin wheels right here, just so you can see all the different rim colors. Uh, and here's where they are. All of them. So we have a couple different white options that are custom in. You've got a custom uh, base game great looking fresh. Chrome, if you're looking to be fly. Chrome number two, it's going to be more of a galvanized steel. And then we have a smooth steel. And then you've got black versions of all of those as well. Plus, we've got all of the base game colors. So if you're wanting this to be something else, well, just go for it. Actually, blue and red does not look terrible. And then we have license plates on here as well. We'll go ahead and select that. And you can see it's going to be behind your light bar. So if you're trying to speed and not let people see your... Uh, uh, you go, yeah, turn the light bar on. You ain't catching me, Popo. -po, get out of here. Next, from Woodcraft Modding, we've got a modified version of the Rana H21D Harvester. Yeah, 305 horsepower, variable transmission, 725 liters of fuel, 12 miles an hour, 24.8 tons. She's a big boy, and 15 slots, so not too bad there. Well, Brands got Nuckians, got Olaf Officers, and uh, back and forth, uh, Trelleborg as well. And Trelleborg, you can throw a couple different options on here. So this is nice. You can go with a six wheel or continue to use the eight wheel version. And it looks like we've got multiple different versions of Nucky and tires, which are cool. And even a similar setup here for the first first, but it's only front and rear. Oh, hang on. Hold up. You got this single loader pack. Looking at you. I see you. I see you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we throw a track on that big wheel on the back? Ah, I can't do it. That's all right. Looking good nonetheless. Protection. You've got a uh, addition of a rear protection. So that is nice to see. There you go. You got that. Uh, one thing I will say, the, the harvester's sitting back a little bit. And I don't think the lights are quite right. They, they, we may have to flip those to go on top of them. Uh, we're we're going to load this up in the game here in just a moment. Street-like configuration. You got a couple different ones through here as well. So... Uh, basically, just hit left and get all of them. And then extras, you've got, uh see, extra fire extinguisher on the back? Yeah, I think so. So there you go. Not too bad. Let's go and lease one of these and let's load it in right here. And let's pull up our help window because I want to see what we can do. So let's go and turn it on. We'll give you guys a little bit of sound so you can hear what's going on with it. And let's do unfold tree harvester. There we go, just like that, looking good, yeah. We're still sitting, but, oh, I see you, I see you. Okay, okay. So that is neat. You actually need to fold and unfold, and when you unfold, she leans back and goes into like a super, like, put them on the back of the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at words today. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, that's your Rodney. You can drive it in a folded state as well, which is pretty cool. So if you want to have a car show or something and I don't, I don't know, I got nothing. This is pretty cool, though. Next new one for all platforms going to be the Dang Gravel Pack. This is from Universe Simu Modding. This includes three trailers. You can see we've got a loading trailer, we've got a bulk trailer, and a manure spreader. Let's start with the PE32. This is going to be a low loader for you guys. Main color, you can change it up between all those different colors. And then you can change these up as well. Looks like we've got just little, little parts here and there. Let's change these to yellow, just so you can see. And we'll change the main color black. So everything that's yellow on the front and the rear, there you go. Not a whole lot of customization to this. Only colors. Going to be four slots for you guys. As far as the uh, Polydrag Plus 418A, this one's going to be five slots for console players. Holds bolt crop, so everything that you can put in here. 11,100 liter or 20,700 liters. Back and forth between both of those. Will Brands, we have Trelleborg, BKT, Michelin, and that is it box we got without the box with the box with the box there's the box right there on the side doesn't do anything but it exists and that's all right and we've got the same main color options here as well and they have made the uh, uh wheel hubs change those colors too that is good to see and then lastly we've got the svl 18 now this is going to be a manure spreader only 
no lime in here. We've got 18,000 liter capacity, 4.8 ton weight, 140 horsepower required. 14 meters! Oh yeah! At 12 miles per hour. Trellebork, Michelin, Midas, and that is it. Looks like you can do a inverted wheels or not, so pretty standard with manure spreaders. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Not too bad. Dang gravel pack. In the words of 82 Studio, we've got a plew. This is going to be the PNU840 plow from Grack43. This is going to be a total of two slots on consoles. Specs include a 1.2 ton weight, 165 horsepower required, 3.2 meter working width at seven miles per hour. Supporting wheels. So we've got the rink on there. No, nothing. So you could do basically a metal wheel or a normal wheel. I'm sure everybody will upgrade to that normal wheel. Main color on here. Well, this is kind of neat because you've got all of the colors. You've got your standard red. We've got kind of like a dark green or army green as it is, or anything. So that's kind of cool. Gives you the flexibility and the option to change that however you want. We can even change up the design color. So all of the plow shanks on there, you could change those colors as well. That's really cool. And I love seeing all of this custom colors and different things. This is how you do it. And your last new one for all platforms today is a very simple mind. It's just diesel barrel. This is going to cost you 150 bucks, has a capacity of 180 liters. So uh, instead of buying diesel at a fuel station, you can buy it by the barrel. Uh, and it's gonna be two slots per barrel as well. Heads up, when you load in, it is zoomed right into the bottom. So you may have to zoom out to look at it. And your only update today for all platforms gonna be the, the Telehandler Big Bag Lifter. Yeah, this is from Tarkas007. Nice, change that, version 1.0.1. 007, I don't know, multiplayer support's been added. I tried to make that funny, it, it wasn't. Get your update, you're good. All right, let's make our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. Our very first one is going to be the Landall 845AG Hall All Series. Yes, this is technically a different mod than the Lizard version. If you guys are on PC and you want to play multiplayer, cross-play, get the Lizard. However, if you are just wanting to have everything exactly right, maybe doing single player or PC only multiplayer, well, get your land all. Otherwise, we'll tell you, exactly the same customization, nothing has changed. Next up, we have the Twine add-on. Now, this one's pretty interesting. This adds management of the Twine for square balers. You will need to enable the mod by adding the required information. Uh, and you can see right here, we've got what looks to be all of the base game square balers, including little baby Massey. Love that. And this makes it basically, you can see here, got your different twine. Looking good, looking good. And we'll go over here and you can see configuration, all standard stuff. However, these are required for twine. You can see at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, well, twine is there. One nice thing is they didn't add any custom stuff here, anything that you can only get by getting these. Uh, these are just an extra addition that you can add if you want to, and that's cool. And DD Mod Passion has done the exact same thing for the net wrap add-on. So square balers and round balers have all gotten some goodies today. Yeah, man, that is cool. That's very, very cool. Another thing that's kind of neat is we've got branded versions of these as well. Lizard Kloss, K-Brand, Cavernaland, Pottinger. You also have Viking and well, and there we go. And, and so you can just kind of choose whatever you like. I don't think you have to use the specific one. I think it's just branded. So that's kind of cool. So if you got your Pottinger round baler right there, well, you can get you some Pottinger net wrap and be good to go. I think this is a cool little mod. I'm definitely happy to see it out. Hopefully we see something like this on consoles soon as well. I know we did in Farm Sim 19, so it's probably only a matter of time. Next, we've got the repair and paint settings. These options have been added to the game settings menu. You've got maintenance cost, which specifies how much the maintenance cost is going to be. We also have maintenance interval, which specifies how much damage the vehicle will get. Painting cost specifies how much the paint cost will be. And as you know, painting cost is absolutely ridiculous. Plus you've got painting interval, which specifies how much damage the paint will actually get. This is available now for PC players. Check it out. And from the same creator, we also have another really cool mod, the cruise control slider. The cruise control speed can be adjusted or set via a slider, your joystick axis. So this change becomes active only when the slider is used. Uh, to my knowledge, this kind of works like the side panel a little bit, but without having to use an actual side panel. 
it's kind of neat. And your last new mod today for PC and Mac players, and last mod altogether. This is the Better AI Lights. This turns on helper lights during the rain and the snow, which I can appreciate. It also turns on the pipe light uh, of the combines when they're out. This is really cool. And definitely if you guys are on PC, you need to make sure you have this mod. Well guys, that is it for today. That's your new mods for Tuesday, February the 15th. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Goham Fam channel members. You get early access to Let's Play videos and a few other things as well, including a Discord. Check that out, link below. Um, also make sure you're subscribed. That way you never miss videos and stuff. Man, I'm bad at outros, huh? This is really bad. Let's just move on. I've got other videos that have great outros, so go check those out. I'll link a couple right up here. All right, that's all. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> Peace.